Hi friends, and welcome to another 3ABN Today program. My name is Larry Weathersby, and in the 3ABN Today kitchen today with me is my beautiful wife, Kyung. Hi, we are so happy to be back at 3ABN Kitchen, and I've been working on this new recipe just for you. Yeah. So call your friends, and Danny Shelton always call your I mean enemies to watch 3ABN. Yes, we are excited about being here today, and uh, it's like being away, a home away from home here at 3 ABN. Oh, yeah. And today, Kyung, is, what is our uh, theme for today? Today's theme is our Americans' favorite, like uh, hot dogs and hamburger. That's right. You're going to learn how to make vegan hot dog from 3 ABN kitchens, so stand by. Hey, Amen. I can't wait to get started. Before we do that, Kyung, can you tell everybody a little bit about our ministry, A Taste of Heaven? Our Taste of Heaven ministry, uh, about 10 years ago, and God called me to go out teach people how to cook healthy. There are so many people suffering from sicknesses and diseases, so that's what we've been doing, going out teach people how to cook healthy. By the way, by the grace of God, He, he allowed me to write six cookbooks. So if you like to order those cookbooks, and then we will put some contact number end of the program, right? Larry? Amen. We'll talk about it after a while. And you can yeah. see it on the graphics at this time. But God has blessed Kyung with the, uh, the, with the wisdom and the knowledge to do the six cookbooks. And we give him all the praise and glory yeah. today. Praise God. And yeah. Kyung, today, what are we going to be cooking today? Today, our first recipe is going to be better than hot dogs. That's right, better than how they looks good. Amen. And the taste of heaven, chili dogs. And I'll show you what you can do with all this chili. And turkey-like patties, you can make like a hamburger, or you can put some gravy on it too. Like, uh, next one is a tofu patties. Oh, it looks good. It's more Amen. like a Korean-style tofu patty. And the next one is called the veggie hamburger patties. Mmm, don't they look yeah, good? It's one of mm. my favorite ones. Yes, it's, it is. And the last one, I gotta cook, make some co cookies for you Amen. because you love cookie. And my best friend, Jill Morikoni, she loves cookie. And all for you. Then I make some kettle coconut cookies. Amen. They're all wonderful and delicious. Yeah. And so what is our first recipe that we're going to do yeah. today? Like I said, I'm going to show you how to make better than hot dogs. Okay, and for the better than hot dogs, you will need one and one half cup water, three, four cup raw cashews, one third cup nutritional yeast flakes, one and one half teaspoon sea salt, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, one tablespoon paprika, and one fourth teaspoon celery seeds. Also, you need one fourth teaspoon mar uh, marjoram, one tablespoon beef like seasoning, one half tablespoon turbinado sugar, five tablespoons tomato sauce, two and one fourth cup vital gluten flour, and two tablespoons whole wheat flour. Good job. Hey, man, let's get cooking here. Yeah, you have to help me this time. Okay, right? I'll do what we I can do. This is a really, really simple recipe. <coughs> And uh, we'll show you step by step, okay? So what we're gonna do, let, we're gonna, let it gonna go ahead and blend some water in the blender. And then we will need a roll of cashews. And there is a cashews right there. The cashews is this very high in protein and fiber. Amen. And high in magnesium. So if anybody has some nerve problems because of the high in magnesium, it will help you from the uh, nervousness and irritabilities. Amen. Next one, we're gonna put some uh, nutritionist flakes. Okay. And uh, that's like another uh, good source to get your uh, vitamin B, B1, B2, B6, and B12. Amen. And so it make taste really good. Next one, we will need a sea salt. That one, I found out that this one called the real salt and sea salt, and mm -hmm. it has 52 minerals hey, in the wow. salt. So it's a, such a blessing. Maybe you can check with your uh, health food store. You might be able to find it. Next hey. one is onion powder. Onion powder, that's very good for you. Yeah, and then garlic powder. Garlic powder. And the paprika. Paprika. And then celery seed. So we need one fourth teaspoon celery seed. And the majoram. Majoram. And this is called uh, beef like seasonings. Uh, if you have my cookbooks, and you will find it from the, my cookbook three, okay. you can make the beef like seasoning without any beef and MSG Amen. in it. 
This uh, is turbinado sugar. Turbinado sugar. Then I'll give you a spoon for the uh, tomato sauce. Okay. And tomato sauce is very high in antioxidants. So fighting for the cancer is really such a good source for the nutrition right there. Okay. Then okay. after that, all you need to just blend them until Oops. nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah. There okay. I'm going to move this one here. Let's get it on there tight. That's the key word. You have to blend them nice and smooth. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Ooh. What happened? It came out a little bit. Oh, yeah, you need to close the blend a little tight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next step is just leave it right here. Okay. Thank you. Then what I will do, next day you will need two and one fourth cup gluten flours. And the gluten flours is just already is just wheat protein. Because of that, uh, you can make all kinds of vegetarian meat. Then I put some uh, whole wheat flour. Then you need to mix it really good. Then I'm going to go ahead and add uh, those cash mixture in it. Go ahead and pour in here, please. I need all the way, everything in it. No, let it, it smell. Smells good, doesn't it? Smells really good. I'm going to take it all out with okay. my hands. I needed all this. Okay. All right, here you go, thank okay. you. And this is very soft dough. So you just continue mixing and mixing it, it will form it. Where'd you get the idea to do this? <laughs> well, first of all, from God. Oh, amen, amen. <laughs> what happened, uh, our dear friend, June and Clint, yeah. they are dear volunteer at 3ABN, and they asked me if I would ever come up with a a uh, hot dog recipe. So I said, you know, I tried several times, but it didn't come out. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I need some a tube to put it in there to make a really nice appearance. Nice and round? Yeah. But anyway, I had a, such a burden for Clint because Clint kept telling me that I love hot dog and I sure love to eat hot dog vegetarian way every day. So I prayed and God gave me this recipe. And what happened, I sent to uh, Clean and June, and she made this recipe. And the uh, Clean loves it, and he is every day. So wow. praise the Lord for that. Praise God. Okay, huh? and uh, mixing is done right okay. here. Then this one you have to bake, so you need to spray. This is not really 11 by 14, but uh, you will need 11 by 14 cookie sheet because you will make a 15 uh, hot dog. 15 hot dog. Yeah. And you will need a one fourth cup size uh, cup or ice cream scoop really good for you, working for you. So what I would do, I just scoop, scoop it out. Oh, look at that, we have some cashew mm. piece. Then what you need to do, just spray your cutting board. Then you just uh, uh, form it to about five and a half inches long or five inches. One rolling, when you roll more and more, it, it give you nice shape. Yeah. So take some nice, yeah, nice texture, too. texture. So take your time to just roll it, roll it. Look at that, isn't it nice? Now I'm gonna show you one more time. Yeah. Okay. And would you like to share with the viewer that how much I love this recipe? Yeah. When she made this uh, recipe earlier, she would always come and say, honey, I just love this recipe. I just love this hot dog. And, and I said, yes, I think you've already told me once or twice. And I think she's told me about a thousand times that she just loves this recipe. So. You try this. This is really delicious. Amen. Yeah, I was very surprised at how good it is. And uh, once you bake it, shape stay. It won't change it. So I really like this recipe a lot. Okay. 
Okay. You cook, put it yeah. in the oven for... The more you roll it, it's going to be better shape. Okay. Okay. Then uh, after that, what you need to do, I will pretend that you make the, all the hot dog here. Then you need to cover. Cover with the foil. You need to cover them tight because you don't want to have a dry hot dog. Then you can bake it at 350 de 300 degrees for 40 minutes. And uh, that will make a wonderful hot dog for you. Okay. You we have a finished product. product. We can here? show you how this one looks like. Okay. They all look good. They taste good. That's all. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I really like it. Amen. Then what I did, uh, you can, if you have a griller, or if you have barbecue in the back door, then you barbecue can, pit? yeah, you can go ahead and put it in to make a nice and uh, mark on it. And then, doesn't it look good? Amen. Yeah. Looks like the real thing. <laughs> without cholesterol uh -huh. and uh, without all the harmful things for you. Amen. So, we're, going, we're ready to go to the next recipe. Hey, what are we going to be cooking next? And we're going to make a taste of heaven chili dogs. For the taste of heaven chili dogs, you will need two cups of cooked pinto beans, two cups of ground walnut gluten or any ground veggie meat, one eight ounce canned tomato sauce, one cup of water, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of soy sauce unfermented, one teaspoon ground cumin, one half teaspoon garlic powder, one and one half tablespoon nutritional yeast flakes, and you will need better than the hot dogs. All right. The first what you need to do, uh, we're going to go and put some uh, two cups cooked pinto beans. Okay. Uh, I guess I need to turn them up fire on first. Turn the fire on? Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay. Here you go. This one. Okay. Then next one you will need I'll put the walnut gluten. This is from one of my recipes. But if you have any vegetarian meat recipes, you can substitute this one. And uh, I will need tomato sauce. Here you go. And tomato sauce is very high in antioxidant. Also, it will purify your blood and very high in vitamin C. So it's okay. such a good for you. Mm -hmm. Then next one, you will need a one cup water. Okay. And uh, then I will need a one tablespoon paprika. I'm using paprika instead of the chili pepper because most of the chilies are very high in uh, spicy. And mm -hmm. spicy food actually is really irritate your stomach. When you're taking a high in uh, spicy food, you're going to have a uh, stomach tumor. And also, ulcers? Yeah, ulcers. And then, I would have to tell you that, um, you know, I'm from Korea. Korean people love to eat hot and spicy food. And because of that, when I was around 40 years old, mm. I'm not telling my age, <laughs> <laughs> but when I was 40 years old, I had a stomach ulcer. And I got away from all spicy food and God healed me completely. Praise Amen. God. So, okay. Where then, can you get this paprika? Oh, any grocery any store. Any grocery store? Any grocery store you can find. This is unfermented soy sauce. and. Uh, Chili, you got to have a cumin. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are using a beans. So what cumin does is eliminate gas from uh -huh. your intestine. That's so good it's really enough. good. Yeah. Yeah. And it also helps you digest food. Okay. So this is onion powder. I mean, garlic powder, actually. Then I'm adding nutritional yeast flakes. Wow. And this one contains B1, B2, B6, B12. And the vegan diet is a lot of people worry about, am I going to have enough vitamin B12? So when you use the B vitamin 12 in your cooking, you will have more than enough B vitamin 12. So you'll have nothing to worry about. Also, make it taste so good. Amen. This one, once you bring to a boil, then you need to turn the heat down and simmer for 20 minutes. And it is really, really delicious. And while we are cooking, Thank you for sending us so many encouraging letters that I'm really going to share a couple letters with you. Amen. This first letter it comes from a Jeanette, and she's in Idaho. And she says, Dearest Kyung and Larry, I saw your last two shows on 3ABN. Did I tell you in my last letter how I prayed to lose weight for God for more than 40 years until I heard you telling what God had been teaching you about cooking 
and I got you three cookbooks and DVDs. After using your recipes for a few months, I started feeling better. I've lost, I have now lost 90 pounds, and I'm a new person in wow. God. Praise the Lord. Praise Lord. God, isn't it? That's 90 pounds. That's amazing. Yeah. Huh? Isn't it, don't you lose about, don't you lose about eight, 85 pounds like within a six months? Yes. So if there is people out there, if you're suffering from overweight, and all you need to change your diet, then Amen. God will help you lose weight. Amen. This next letter comes from Don and Eileen. And they're from Washington. It says, Hi, Kyung. A couple of weeks ago, I, I ordered a set of your cookbooks, and I liked them so much, I immediately ordered your DVDs as well. I just wanted to tell you how much fun <coughs> and enjoyment we are having with these books and videos. So far, we have mostly been watching the DVDs and have made most of the recipes contained in them and have absolutely enjoyed every recipe. <coughs> we are eating your healthy food with a clear conscience because every recipe is a healthy and tasty one without compromise. I want you to know that I was a vegetarian before ordering your books, but since I've started on your recipes, I feel better than ever, Amen. even if I am 72 years Amen. young. So we are having gobs of fun preparing your simple recipes and enjoying what I believe to be the healthiest diet available. Thanks beyond words to you. You have done an extraordinary and remarkable work. God bless Donna Elang. Yeah, God hey. be the glory. God be the glory and praise God for Thank you for those letters. Amen. Okay. So what are we going to do next? Uh, no, pretend that we already cooked for 10 minutes. Okay. And I already have this finish. You can see there how the difference is. Once you cook about 20 minutes, it will get thickened. Then this recipe name is the Taste of Heaven Chili Dog. Amen. So we have two <coughs> chili, I mean two hot dogs and a bun. So what you need to do is just uh, spray on here, wow. like this, and this will be a wonderful meal for you. Looks like the real thing. <laughs> just don't tell nobody this is a big one. Amen. <laughs> then, they will, and then you can spray, sprinkle some homemade vegan cheese, or you can buy from the store. Wow. And then you like onion, don't you? Yeah. So I will sprinkle a little bit of onions for you. And ready to eat it. Ready to eat it. Then yes. go ahead and uh, decorate with some parsley. Yes. And let's put some one cherry tomatoes. This is how it looks. Oh. And uh, several things you can do. Let me see. I have rice here. So if you love rice with the chili, then you can put some chili on top of rice. Try not to make a mess. <laughs> okay. Maybe one more scoop. Doesn't it look good? Amen. Then maybe you can do the same way. If you love cheese, like uh, my daughter, she loves vegan cheese. So you can put some cheese on top of it. That's good. And a little bit of onions. And uh, go ahead, put some parsley. And I always have parsley in my house. Amen. And the tomatoes. And it'll make a wonderful, wonderful meal for you. I also got a... We got a finished product that we can show here. to you. Okay, that looks, looks good. Looks very good, very this, good. Yeah, amen, oh, God is so good. Okay, we're gonna move to next recipe. What's the next one? Next one is turkey patties. For the turkey-like patties, you will need one and half cup TVP, one cup quick oats, one and half cup hot water, two tablespoons soy sauce, unfermented kind, half teaspoon sea salt, half teaspoon garlic powder, half tablespoon onion powder, one and half tablespoon nutritional yeast flakes, half tablespoon tabinado sugar, and half cup bread crumbs or oat flour. All and right. this recipe is actually really delicious. And it tastes more like a turkey or chicken. So if you are looking for something to make a hamburger with a turkey pudding, you will like this one. Yes. So first one, I'm going to use one and a half cup TVP. Maybe there are some viewers that didn't know what is TVP. This is made out of the soybean. So this is all this protein and very high fiber. Okay. And actually good for your heart. Mm. And no cholesterol whatsoever. Then I'm going to add quick oats. Now, Quick oats, this is a breaking from the oats. So it's very high in fiber. So water soluble fiber, they actually help you lower your cholesterol. All right. 
Oh, that sounds good. Very, yeah. Also, it's very high in B vitamins. It's really good for your nerve systems. Mm. Yeah, so we all need B vitamins to calm down. Calm down. Amen. <laughs> okay, next one. You will need a one and a half cup hot water because the TBP is dry. Mm -hmm. So the hot water is helps to dehydrate. No, hydrate. Hydrated. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Okay, next one. You will need two tablespoons soy sauce unfermented kind then i'm using a sea salt with 52 minerals 52. oh wow that's a lot yeah and then i will need garlic powder and the onion powder and the nutrition is flax and tabinado sugar People, uh, maybe some people doesn't know what's tabinado sugar tabinado sugar is more like a raw sugar that uh, they bring the cane sugar bring to the company, they make the first sugar called the tabinado oh. sugar. So it contains B vitamins and uh, a little bit trace of the B vitamins and also has calcium and magnesium and uh, potassium. That's so not healthy. Iron, yeah. Not healthier for you, right? Then this is the uh, whole wheat bread crumbs. But if you don't have a whole wheat bread crumbs, you can get some oat flour it will work just fine and if you like to make a whole wheat uh, breadcrumbs at home all you need to just blend it in the blender, blender. and then uh, just bake it at 200 degrees for about 30 minutes then it'll 200? make it 200 okay 200 to 250 degrees, degrees for about 30 minutes it will make a nice breadcrumbs that's what I do at home sounds simple enough yeah and if you have time, what you need to do, you need to let it set for about 10 minutes. But I don't have 10 minutes here. Yeah. Okay, TV time, 10 minutes <laughs> passed already. It's already passed. So what I'm gonna do, I will show you make the delicious turkey patty. I'm gonna need some fires. It's on, right? It's on. And put some olive oil, about, about one tablespoon to two mm. tablespoon for olive oil, okay? And this one, I actually, I learned to use it as when I watch a Sri Avian cooking show. Oh, you know, man. I watch a Sri Avian cooking show oh, too. Now I learned so much from it. But I thank God for the Sri Avian cooking show. And this is like a Kenyan jolly, large mouth, what do you call it? Wide Lord, mouth. Lord. <laughs> yeah. And you just pack it down and put some um, plastic wrap. Mm. Then I turn it over. Ta da. It's like perfect too. It, it come up. Perfect. It's almost like a, coming from the McDonald's or. <laughs> it's almost like a store bought one. Yeah. Perfect. Smart idea, huh? And if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have this uh, canning jar, um, mm -hmm. uh, then I'll, I'll what canning jar lid. Mm -hmm. Then you can just Do it use by the hand. Yeah, use the hand. Then I'll just show you. Like, I'm going to mess my hand. <laughs> okay. And I look as pretty, but it, it'll work. Right? It still works. Mm -hmm. See that? It makes nice patty. Mm -hmm. Because there's the oat in there, oat works like an egg binding. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm yeah. going to cook about three here. So you, you need to cook until nice and golden brown. And you need to turn it over. Uh huh and they cook until both sides is brown. They and look delicious. It's really delicious. We had some yesterday, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> they were delicious. Shh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, actually we had, a, we had this uh, our turkey patty for lunch yesterday and it was really good. Lady had it too. Amen. <laughs> okay, we got some more letters. While we are cooking, we're gonna share a couple more letters with you. Okay, this first letter is from the Philippines. It says, Kyung, I got to watch your episode with Sir Larry when you cooked Pancit. I was smiling all the way while I watched your show. I became a vegan when I started watching 3ABN. I've been a vegan since 2004 and have lost weight gradually over the years. I, now, I am now off all my medication and have been telling my friends to do the same. And praise the Lord. Praise God. It says, God bless. Yeah. Lanes from Philippines. Amen. Just praise God for the letters here. Yeah. The next letter is from Linda. She's from Texas. She says, hello, Kyung. I just want to thank you again for your dedication in creating and sharing delicious vegan recipes. I have pretty much always been a vegetarian, but after attending a cooking class you taught some years ago, I was inspired to become a vegan. 
You have been a real inspiration. I am so thankful that you take God's health message so seriously and are spreading your knowledge around. Thank Praise you. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise God the Lord. for the letters. Praise yeah. God. Okay. How are you looking? Well, it looks really good. Man, you want to show the finished Wait. product? Okay, we can do that, but I'm going to show them how to uh, use it for the gravy too. Okay. See, what I did, uh, this is patty. Uh, you can make a wonderful sandwich, like a, almost like a hamburger. Uh -huh. Or uh, if you like to use it for the just main dishes, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. You can just put, let me put the copper here. Okay. Okay, then you can already have some homemade gravy. This is like a chicken like, <coughs> oh, uh -oh. <laughs> chicken like gravy from my recipe. <laughs> Thanks, and you can just pour some gravy on top Man, of it. Man, that looks delicious. And uh, uh, it really smells good. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> Makes me hungry. Yeah, so how about there? All right. Looks good. Looks okay. good. What are we going to be cooking next now? Next one, we're going to cook our tofu patties. For the tofu patties, you will need one package of tofu, firm, water packed, one cup whole wheat bread crumbs, one half cup chopped walnuts, one medium onion minced, one fourth teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon sage, one teaspoon sea salt, two tablespoons nutritional yeast flakes. Very good, Larry. Oh, thank you. Okay. This is more like a, a Korean traditional uh, tofu recipe uh, called a tofu patty. We used to use a lot of egg in it, but uh, uh, God gave me the wisdom uh -huh. making a vegan way without egg in it. What's tofu? What's tofu? Uh -huh. Oh, good question, Larry. A lot of people say, what's tofu? I don't like the name. <laughs> <laughs> tofu actually made from the hot soy milk. That's all it is. Uh -huh. And they put some uh, lemon juice or Epsom salt to, uh, to harden, harden it. and it will look like that. What does the tofu mean? Tofu, I will actually, this is how the tofu look like, and it more look like a... Uh, uh, something like meat without bones, or? Yeah, we are oriented people. You know, I'm from Korea, so we eat lots of tofu and uh, bean sprouts, so yeah. it's more like a meat without uh -huh. the bone and cholesterol. So you need to put in the bowl, and just uh, scramble it. And uh, when you <laughs> when you are in stress situations, oh, buy some tofu. <laughs> take <it on> tofu? <laughs> yeah, and they relieve your all the stress from uh, mm. doing this. It's so high in protein, right? It's very high in protein. Mm. And calcium. Uh, yeah, calcium. Uh, thank you. Iron and zinc, right? Yeah. Then the next what I will do, I'm gonna leave it on because I have to okay. mix with it. And then this is a whole wheat flour, I mean whole wheat breadcrumbs. And uh, oh, sorry about that. Then okay. half cup chopped walnut. Walnuts are very good for you. Yeah, walnut is very high in protein. Mm. Also high in good fat. And called omega-3 fat and really good for your brain functioning uh -huh. and good for your heart actually help you lower your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Uplifts the depression. Yeah. That's yeah. good for you. It's very That's good. That's right. Then I'm using onions. Okay. Onion is very high in antioxidant, which means what is a high in antioxidant? You won't uh, fighting for cancer. Cancer. Yeah. You won't get sick. Your immune system won't. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost like immune system buster, right? That's Keeps right. It up. Yeah. And it's really good for bronchitis, bronchitis. and asthma and the prevent from the blood clots. And this. Good for your kidney and yeah, liver Yeah, garlic functions. powder and sage. Okay. And the sea salt and nutrition yeast flakes. All right. Okay. And to make sure that just mix it really good with the hand. Mm. And it smells good. Oh, yeah, I can just eat like this. You don't really need to cook, uh -huh. yeah, because it's all, all has been cooked. So, okay, the sage that I put it in here, it almost tastes like kind of give fish flavor fish. Oh, okay. without fish. Uh -huh. But if you're a fish lover, probably it doesn't <laughs> taste like a fish. <laughs> then, 
And if you have any vertigo problems, then the sage tea will help you. Also, oh. when you have fevers, sage tea will decrease the fever. And it's very excellent for the diabetes. Uh -huh. Also, we have some uh, onions. Onions are ac really actually good for diabetes, and it will lower your blood pressure Amen. too. Amen. Yeah. Sounds good. So God is wonderful that he put all the good stuff in <coughs> here. So what I will do, I'm going to go and turn the fire on. Okay. Okay. Then I'll, you will need some olive oil. Okay. Then I will go ahead. You can make the mini size. This is called the mini size. It's about one tablespoon full. Then you can just make the bowl. Then you just uh, uh, lower, or make a round patty. Oh. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah, pretty simple. Simple recipe, it looks like. Simple, and uh, you get all this good health yeah, benefit. And you can make a smaller one. And uh, if you like to make this thing for the patty. So uh -huh. if you want to make the large patty, I will show you how to make patties. Okay. Just eating uh, this top of patty, it will help you lower your blood sugar oh, okay. and uh, lower your cholesterol and uh, good for diabetes. The blood pressures, no. and then you can make yeah, a large one. <laughs> that's what I like. Where you're from, yeah. Texas. Amen. So, you know, when you go to Texas, everything is <laughs> the Texas size. Yeah, Texas size. Big. Everything is big <laughs> because it's biggest state in America. And you can make the large one, Ooh, like that. So, you just cook both sides until nice and golden brown. And that's the key word nice and golden brown. Then, while we're cooking this one, and uh, we well, thank you so much for sending us the wonderful, yes. encouraging letter. Really, uh, it helps us what we are doing, uh, <laughs> encouraging us our lives. So, Lady, gonna share a couple more letters with you. This first one's from Jeanette. She says, "Dear Sis Kyung, I uh, have been trying for a while to get my body back to good health. I have had some challenges." with my body and I want to do everything to make sure all stays and is right. I will continue to pray and ask the Lord to lead me in what he thinks is right for my body, but vegan keeps coming to me. But for the last few years after I wrote your email, I read your site and read the different steps for health. Thanks so much and I thank the Lord for letting me find your program. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Love, Amen. Jeanette. Just, yeah. uh, just an amazing, yeah. amazing uh, letter here and it's and we want to give uh, 3ABN a lot of credit because they all, these people are watching 3ABN. That's right. And uh, they're just touched and touching our hearts. This one is from Canada. It's, it's Jacqueline. She says, Dear Larry and Kyung, I want to tell you how much I enjoyed your cooking show Wednesday. My yes. friends and I watched it, and the next day we tried the gluten recipe mm -hmm. and really enjoyed it immensely. Thank Amen. you for all the delightful recipes, and thank you for your ministry. It's good that Larry has joined you on the show. May God continue to guide in your ministry. Thank you, Jacqueline. It's a pleasure to be here, too, with my wife. Yeah, really. Thank you for joining Amen. me in cooking. My husband, actually, he doesn't cook at home. <laughs> Amen. Because, you know, you can have two chefs in the kitchen. So I don't I'm, need to cook with a chef like you, right? So I'm the chef, and Amen. He, but he does a lot of dishy washes Amen. for me. <laughs> so he's a wonderful husband. But thank you for cooking with sure. me. So we got a finished, finished product, product we'd like to show you. These are excellent. Mm, it looks good. Good yeah. for breakfast, good for any time, right? Yeah. Amen. If it's good for your heart or brain, you need to eat all the time. Sure. Yeah. So look at that. This one is already done, and yeah. it looks wonderful. It's very, yeah. it's good. Amen. Okay. Wait till the show's over so we can enjoy it, right? <laughs> oh, we're going to share with some camera crews oh, here. Okay. okay, let's move to next recipe. Okay, what is the next We're one? We're going to uh, make veggie hamburger patties. Okay, for the veggie hamburger patties, you will need two cups of water, one fourth cup soy sauce unfermented, one tablespoon olive oil, one tablespoon turbinado sugar, two teaspoon onion powder, one half teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon parsley flakes, one tablespoon nutritional yeast flakes, two cups of quick oats, and one half cup pecan meal, ground pecan. You know, I cannot wait to show you how to make vegetarian hamburger patties. Amen. Because it tastes really good, 
and whatsoever. It's no cholesterol. You know, this program is, is all about plant-based diet, but you can still enjoy your favorite hamburger. Hey Amen. They're good. Okay. Yeah. So what I will do, forget to turn the water on. <laughs> the fire. fire on. Hey. When they turn the fire on, we mean when it started to boil, and then I'm going to go in and pretend it is already boiling. boiling. <laughs> so, time. yeah, first two cups of water is already in the pot. Then you're going to add soy sauce, and then you're going to put some olive oil. And the olive oil also is very high in omega-3, mm -hmm. and it will protect your heart more than anything. And Boy. also it will lower, this is a uh, tabinara sugar, yeah, it will lower your cholesterol, cholesterol from using uh, olive oil. Then I'm, mm -hmm. this one, onion powder. Okay. And the garlic powder, parsley flakes. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple recipe. Simple. And the nutrition is flex. Uh -oh. It's amazing how you can just yeah. uh, All you need put a few ingredients in and it comes out like that. That's right and the latest boil. Then after that, I have to share with this recipe with you. And uh, one lady in Mina, Arkansas, she was praying God that somebody can show her how to cook healthy because she has three daughters. They are all tons of mm. So she wants to really learn how to cook healthy. So uh, God impressed me to donate her one of my cookbooks. So I gave her a cookbook. She didn't know that uh, I had even cookbook anyway. God impressed her that she need to get all the ingredients ready. Uh -huh. And uh, her husband is a heavy meat eater, eater yes. and her children really picky eater too. But she wants to start God's diet. So I went over her house a couple of times. We cook all day long. And her husband, he was skeptical about this uh, hamburger patty actually, but uh, he loved it. He said that was his Favorite. Favorite. Wow. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing, huh? But actually, I pray for him that God will change his taste bud. Yes. And God sure did. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, okay. You see they start boiling? Boiling. Then you can add some uh, oat meal here, quick oats. Quick oats. And then this is a pecan meal. Pecan meal is, if you can find it, all you need to do is just put it in the blender and the blend it until nice and smooth and like a flour texture. And I'm adding a pecan meal because the pecan meal as you cook it turn to like a meat. Meat, te texture. meat texture and a meat color. Meat color. So this also is very good for you. It's high in protein and yeah. fiber and iron and calcium. And yes. potassium, magnesium. Wow. So when you cook it will be thickened like this, uh, like an oatmeal. I can just eat like that, it's really delicious. But uh, you need to let it uh, cool down, then it will get thickened, it's easy to work. Okay. So I already made one, I will show you differences. Once you get cooled off, color changes. Maybe you can see from the camera. Yes. Okay, see that how the color changes? Then, okay, see that? All right, wow. and then I will show you step by step how you make it. Okay, let me go and turn the fire on. Okay, then you need to put some olive oil. Okay, this is good enough. Okay. These are good for traveling or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, we do traveling a lot, so we usually pack on our lunch for our travel. And this is another one, what do you call it? Canning jar. Like canning jar lid. Yes. You can just pack it in. It's very unique, I think. Yeah. But, but they all come out uniformity. When but you it's not really my idea. So. Yes, but it <laughs> looks good, though. And you can just <coughs> put it in here. Ja -ja. Oh, it's already seasoning. Uh -huh. And this one, okay, all my recipe, I forgot to tell you, but they all freeze really good. Even hot dog, you can make about 15 hot dog, you can freeze them. Even uh, chili you can freeze them. So if you're only by yourself mm -hmm. and you can make one time and uh, you got a few weeks, you got a lot yeah. of food to eat. Just yeah. Take it out of the freezer and... That's right. And then even this veggie meats, you can freeze them really good. Really good, so... Yeah. Okay, I'll just make one more. How simple it is? Yeah. I love to make this patty because then not only you can uh, serve on the bun, 
But actually, you can make uh, like a main dish out of it with the uh, gravies on top of it. Yeah. You can use it later. I will show you how mm. to serve with okay. the gravy. I think we got a couple more, couple letters, more letters that here. we can share with you. Hopefully, you're not tired of our letters. Oh. <laughs> this one is from Inona. She's from Texas. It says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Weathersby, your cooking class on 3ABDN was one of a, a kind. Your recipes were so simple, yet so nutritious and beautiful. I really enjoyed watching your cooking, uh, your gentle smiles and educational words. See, Lord. you did not only put the recipe together, but you tell the nutritional values of the ingredients. And that is what's amazed me most. Thank you for all your cooking. Oh, praise, praise the Praise God. Lord. Yeah. A lot of these letters are answers to God's prayers to these people. Yeah. And we just want to praise God today for, for these letters and for answering prayers for Amen. these people. This one is from uh, Annette and family. And it says, thanks, Kyung. My husband and I have been looking for just the type of information about cooking you have. It is a pleasure to have seen you program on 3ABN. We have not seen a program with such simplicity as yours. You and your husband are a breath, breath of fresh air. We have been looking for cooking such as yours. God has truly sent us to you. God bless you and your family. Oh, Warm regards, Annette and family. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Huh? God. You know, God is so good. They really touch our hearts, these letters. You know, we uh, receive a lot of emails and letters and mm -hmm. phone calls from the world. Amen. And the, now, you know, 3ABN uh, viewing to the lot of non Adventists. And those people are crying out to God. They know, I really want to be healthy. Amen. But I don't know how to cook healthy, and they're just the channel surfing. Suddenly, they got just they watch the cooking show, yes. but they not knowing it's from Suriyebi, and not knowing it's, it's a healthy cooking show, uh -huh. and uh, they've been so blessed by it. So praise God for Amen. that. Okay, while you're reading a letter, uh -huh. look at that. Wow, I will ready to eat, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I will show you. Uh, we can go wow. ahead and put it on the plate. Let's put only one. I like to cook a little darker. Okay. But, uh, this so people can yeah, see. let's go in here over here. Then I have a gravy. This is called a beef like gravy. And if you have my cookbooks, and you will find it in the book too. And you can put some corns Corn. and potatoes, and mm. it will make a perfect, perfect meal. Perfect food, perfect you. meal. Yeah. And anything made with the uh, oats. It's really help yeah. you Amen. lower your cholesterol and help you from the relief from the constipation. Mm -hmm. So why not eat oats more often? Amen. <laughs> okay. Hey, what are we going to cook next? Next one is our last recipe called the carob coconut cookies. For the carob coconut cookies, you will need one and one half cup quick oats, one half cup whole wheat flour, one half cup oat flour, one cup unsweetened coconut flakes, one fourth cup carob powder. Two thirds cups turbinado sugar, one half teaspoon sea salt, three fourths cup soy milk, one half cup canola oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, so carob, last recipe. Yeah, carob coconut cookies. It's oh, really, wow. if you like the crispy cookies, you will like this one. This is, these are good. Yeah, not only good, it's actually lots of health benefit for you. Amen. Okay, we are going to put quick oats. Okay. And this is a wholesome, wholesome grain. And the uh, whole wheat flour. Okay. And uh, oat flour. And unsweetened coconut flakes. Uh, then I'm using a kettle powder. Carrot powder. You see, it looks like a chocolate yes. color, isn't it? Yes. We use it for the chocolate substitute. And it actually has no caffeine whatsoever. And it have a natural sweetness in there. So, so where can you find this? You can find it from the health food store. Health food store, okay. Yeah, and then this is a tabinado sugar. You can, tabinado sugar, you can find it from any grocery oh, store really? now these days. Oh, good. They are a little more ex expensive than white sugar. But uh, actually you get a, you know, white sugar, refined sugar actually destroy your B vitamins. Right. And immune system in your body. So why would you like to use refined white sugar and destroy your immune system? Right. Yeah. Okay, this is a sea salt. I, I can't say enough. I weighed it 52, 52 minerals. minerals. Okay, after that, all you need to do just uh, mix dry ingredients really good. 
And uh, this is my, our grandson, Malakai Spar. He loved to mix while we are cooking together. Amen. Okay. Then. Hey, hi, Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> One day he said he liked to come to the ABN and cook with us. Amen. So now he's only six years old, so we're going to wait until he gets a little older. And then maybe he can take a little part of <laughs> cooking with us. Okay. And uh, this is a soy milk. So we make it from made soybean. And uh, I'm gonna put some canola oil. Okay. And canola oil is made from the rape sea. And you know the canola rape sea oil you cannot consume because they're toxic. But the canola oil from the rape sea, they are refined process after that you remove all the toxin from it. So it's it's very high in omega-3. It's good for your heart, or it's good for your brain, and it helps you lower your cholesterol. So I received several letters from the viewers, three of them viewers that they just <laughs> cannot believe that I'm using a yeah. canola oil, but they are good for you. They are not toxic. My husband and I, we've been using canola oil for a long time. We are still alive and healthy. Amen. <laughs> we are not dead yet. <laughs> So anyway, I have to throw it there. How about coconut? Is it good for you? Coconut. Oh, I really uh, believe in coconuts have benefit to you and uh, uh, actually improve your digestion. And uh, if you have diabetes, it improves insulin secretions. Oh. And uh, if you have any inflammation in body, the coconut actually helps yep. reduce wow. inflammations. And we ladies like to have a beautiful skin. So mm -hmm. now, I have to tell you the secret of the beauty. <laughs> now, actually, I'm not beautiful, but <laughs> <laughs> secret of the beauty to keep your skin. They I say that I like to put uh, coconut oil in my skin in the morning and at uh, night. And mm -hmm. it seems like it really helps reduce the wrinkle Amen. and reduce the sagging uh, skin. You know, when you are middle age, is your skin getting mm -hmm. sagging. So it seems like it works really good. Amen. Also, it has natural uh, sunblock cream in the coconut oil. Wow. So why not? It's like a miracle. And it smells really good too. Okay. Okay. And the mixing is done. All you need to do, turn your oven at 350 degrees, okay? And spray your oil on your cookie sheet. And then this is like a small uh, ice cream scoop. And just scoop it here. It smells good. Oh, yeah. Mm. And this one, as you see, I don't use any. I'm going to only make three. Oh, wow. You see there any uh, leavening, <coughs> no baking soda, no baking powder. Mm -hmm. But the oats and oat flour works like a baking soda, baking wow. powder in this recipe. So you need to kind of flatten, dip your fingers in the water. That way it won't stick to your fingers, then you are going to bake this one for about 15 to 18 minutes until in the edges it's kind of nice golden brown and yeah. it's very crispy very and delicious. So we have finished product we'd like to yes. show to you. Very good. <laughs> ja -ja. <laughs> it's really, really good. And not only, okay, if you have diabetes, Instead of using a, a tabinata sugar, you can use agave nectar, mm -hmm. which is like hectares uh, honey that you can do that. Where uh, can you find that? Oh, I found it from the uh, Walmart. Oh, I yeah. See. Any grocery store now, they're carrying uh, uh, agave nectar. Uh -huh. Also, this one, when you see they got a quick oat, whole wheat flowers, and oat flour, they are wholesome flowers. Mm -hmm. Therefore, even though you use the uh, tabinata sugar, you can have one or two cookies, your blood sugar is not gonna go high. Wow. So it's a lot of good benefit for you. Uh -huh. Okay, I think we got a, one letter that we can share. Okay. We got a little time. All right, this letter is from Canada, it's from Tisdale. She says to Kyung, it was very exciting to watch your cooking show on 3ABN. You have a basic and natural ingredients combined with a very simple and quick recipes and great taste. Your dedication to show your talent and your gentle manners and respect for each other is great, is a great blessing. God continue to bless you and your ministry. Amen. These, these letters just 
everyone, they've been watching 3ABN, been watching 3ABN, so yeah. we just praise Praise God for His ministry through AB in this yeah, Amen. Honey, thank you. I amen. had a wonderful time cooking with you again. Great time. Yeah. Well, friends, we got to take a short break, but if you want to contact me or Kyung or both of us, or if you want to buy our cookbooks, this is how you can do it at this time. If you would like to contact Kyung for one of her cookbooks or invite her or Larry to come to your area, you can write to Larry and Kyung C. Weathersby. 4756 Highway 8 East, Mina, Arkansas, 71953. That's Larry and Keong C. Weathersby, 4756 Highway 8 East, Mina, Arkansas, 71953. You can call 479-243-9216. That's 479-243-9216. Or visit her website at keongcw.com. That's K-Y-O-N-G-C-W. Com. Hello, I'm Tom Mann. Have you ever wondered what it takes to keep 3ABN's message fresh and up to date? We're working constantly on new programs for an ever growing audience around the world. But how is that accomplished? After working many years in television and radio, I've realized how unusual it is for 3ABN to produce such a large percentage of original quality programming. Most Christian networks use a large number of programs produced by other ministries, and unfortunately, they have little or no control over the content. But we've been called to give a consistent message, and we do not allow the focus to become entertainment or performance oriented. The clear vision given to Danny Shelton, our founder, was to build a television station that would reach the world with the undiluted Three Angels messages, one that would counteract the counterfeits. And that's what we strive for. We just don't provide family-friendly programming. If it's not squarely based on the Bible, our pledge to you is that it will not appear on any of our networks. When it comes to original programming, we produce 69% of our 3ABN English television content. 67% of our 3ABN Latino content, and 100% of what our Russian language channel airs. Without the Lord and all of you, that would be impossible. But we're continuously blessed with the finest teachers, preachers, health presenters, and guests day after day and year after year. So many people work together to make a television program. Producers, directors, camera operators, studio managers, lighting, and audiovisual directors, and video engineers, just to mention a few. But we never forget that the message is the most important part of the equation and bringing the hope of salvation to those who haven't heard about Jesus Christ. We have only one solution, a relationship with our Savior. And whether it's a story of a changed life or a program specifically for children, we want to bring honor and glory to Him each and every minute of every day. And with six networks airing 168 hours of programming each week, that's a total of 1,008 hours. How can we do this with such a small staff? The answer is simple. The Lord makes it possible, and He uses you to help. From the beginning, your prayers and financial support have made it all possible. And 25 years later, our message is still strong. So thank you for all you do for 3ABN. Your prayers are felt each day, both at our ministry headquarters and all around the world. If the Holy Spirit impresses you to support 3ABN's worldwide ministry, please send your tax-deductible love gifts to 3ABN, Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896, or call us at 618-627-4651 during regular business hours. God bless you. Welcome back, friends. Wow, Kyung, we have some... Delicious recipes we did today, didn't we? Yeah, this is all American favorite. Okay, <laughs> what do we do today? But today I'll show you how to make uh, better than hot dogs. Mmm, they look so good. Yeah. Then with that, then I'll show you how to make chili, so you can make a chili dogs. Yeah, that will, everybody will like that. That looks good. Yeah, it's really yummy. And then uh, that's the turkey patty. So you can serve with the gravy and then you just a hamburger bun. And, it's very and, delicious. Yeah, and then that's a tofu patty. Now, this like a Korean tradition tofu patty. And there you can all guess, yes, vegetarian hamburger patties. Wow. Mm, this is your yummy. 
It's so nice looking. Yeah, thank you. And then that's the carob coconut cookies. Oh, it's my mm. favorite. Yeah, your favorite, that's right. How about our friend Jill? Oh, she loves it too, Amen. yeah. I'm going to save some for her. Oh, I thought they were all mine. <laughs> oh, when well, you need to share, you know, your Christian. Amen. We Amen. Christian need to share, Amen. especially if you're your favorite, you need to give it to your friend. Uh -huh. But, Kyung, <laughs> you know, you have some cookbooks. What's so unique about your cook cookbooks, especially like cookbook uh, four? Cookbook four is all about main dishes. So if you like to make healthy, vegan, uh, main dishes, uh, you can find all kinds of dishes in Amen. there. Yeah. Cookbook five? Cookbook five is, is all about like a coconut, yeah. carob coconut cookies. So uh -huh. if you love the cookies, ice cream, and pies, but the healthy way, then you can find those recipes in the book five. Okay, and how about book three? Book six. Oh, can I talk okay. about book six? Okay. Book six is, uh, I'm Korean, so. I come up with the vegan oriental dishes. This is all our, if you like the chow mains and fried rice and egg rolls, you can fix vegetarian Hey Amen. That's good. Book three, yes. if you are allergic to gluten or wheat, then book three is this all about the recipe for those people who cannot digest gluten. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God that He inspired me so many recipes to minister you. Hey Amen. Yeah. If, you know, the cookbooks are so amazing and they're so wonderful and so delicious, mm. so easy to prepare the recipes, so. Yeah. And, well, Kyung, I had fun Thank cooking you for with cooking you today. with me, Larry. And okay. It was my pleasure. And, when uh, you have fun and time flies. Amen. It's, I mean, yes, friends, it's time. It's gone so quickly here today, and we pray that you will try these recipes and, and uh, see that they are really, really good. And, and until we see you again, I pray that may God bless you and keep you and watch over you until we see you again. Thank you.